What's up, everyone, and welcome back to another high-protein edition of the Center Beacon. Uh, as you can see here, we're on test server, test server 1.9 this weekend, and uh, they worked on the targeting system. You can see uh, they're adding a uh, little bit of horsepower to the Hydra because right now it's pretty much useless, and user adjustable sensitivity settings, this is the one I'm most excited about. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into some of the action. I'll show you a couple of things that I tested, but primarily this is going to focus on the user adjustable sensitivity settings. Uh, it's something I've been asking for in uh, the last, I don't know, five to ten test servers that I participated in and my feedback. Um, they've been talking about this for a while where people have had issues basically uh, with the, like the, the rate of... Uh, speed with which you can turn like I'm doing right here right now um, for some people it's too slow uh, myself included um, if somebody comes up behind you if you want to quickly kind of like pan and scan the area it's pretty slow but the trade-off was in the test centers that they ran uh, in in recent months they made the uh, sensitivity so incredibly uh, uh, great that you uh, you couldn't really aim very precisely because every time it just just a you know uh, slightest movement of your of your thumb on the screen and you'd be all left and right of the target and it was for me at least uh, you know uh, being being a little older not not being quite as young as my sons and uh, having uh, you know the outstanding reflexes and and just ability to relate to games nowadays. I couldn't hardly use it. Um, it was too sensitive. So I had been asking for this, and here it is. You can see there's, you bring up the menu screen, there's the slider. Um, it goes back and forth. Uh, what's great about it is if, if you like the way that aiming is right now on live, uh, you can pretty much dial this thing down to what I have it set at right now, and it's pretty much just like live. So if you kind of take it towards the lower end there, your, your experience isn't going to change. That was one of the biggest things that concerned me is that if they were going to give us a non-user definable uh, increase in sensitivity, it was going to make it unplayable for some of us. Um, some of us like the way that it is and others of us don't. So, you know, I had been advocating for quite some time every single feedback that I sent them. Hey, look, if you're going to do this, do it right. Add user definable sensitivity adjustments like pretty much every other game out there. You know, you can dial things in to your personal preference. That's the only way to go. Finally, they listened. I was disappointed last weekend because test server did not actually uh, it didn't uh, didn't work. They had some technical issues. They had to cancel it. So uh, this weekend, I wanted to make sure that I got on there and put together uh, just a little bit of a uh, you know uh, uh, kind of preview of what you're going to get. Um, so that way, again, you know, if you don't have time to play, if you're not on test server, you can kind of see what's coming. Um, and that list clip that in that last clip there, you can see real quick uh, that was the Hydra. He had two of them. It was on a Fujin. And you can tell, uh, even though I was in a light bot, uh, it did some pretty good damage. You know, you can see uh, one salvo there hit me for, you know, around 30,000 damage. So that's something else that's being, uh, that they're rebalancing. Ever since they came out with the Hydra, it has basically been, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but worthless. Um, some people claim that they've had some success with it. I've never encountered it in, in any level of play that ever gave me much cause for concern. Um, so hopefully, you know, they, they, it looks like they've upped the damage and they've upped the rate of fire. So hopefully that'll give guys another option. And people who like that weapon, you know, will, will uh, finally be able to get their money's worth because those things weren't cheap either. I think they cost workshop points maybe, uh, like 7,500, something, something like that. I know that guys wasted quite a bit of uh, resources on those, only to have them not be so awesome. So you can see here, here's a little mid-range uh, I'm testing with the Tridents here. Um, you can see some guys blinking in and out. Uh, I am unfortunately traveling currently. I am on uh, 3G. Yes, that's still a thing in parts of the world. And uh, it's not real good. Um, coupled with that is I think... Uh, the test server, according to some of my other buddies who were playing on it this weekend, I think it's a little wonky. It's it's not 100%. It's not as good as live. I think there are connectivity issues. I believe they mentioned something about it on Facebook. So I think it's part me and part them, but that's why you can see that flashing red X up there with the uh, little connectivity symbol. Um, 
but was just trying to get an idea. The tridents are a good one because they, you know, they fire three volleys, you know, maybe like a second or so apart. And it's, it's a good way to kind of get an idea. Like you can see I'm aiming in on this Fujin here, um, or trying to, uh, it's kind of a good uh, indicator of, so you can see how I'm kind of going left and right there. I kind of want to get it right to one side or the other of the cover that he's under um, or behind, I should say. And just to kind of get an idea of, you know, how, how uh, precise it is. I believe they adapted it recently to basically be like the faster you move your thumb, the faster it'll go. The slower you move your thumb, the slower it goes. So once you kind of get that down, if you apply just the right amount of pressure and, uh, you know, left and right uh, travel with your thumb, you're going to get a pretty, uh, pretty positive result from it. It's going to it's going to allow you to dial in precisely when you need to and move quickly, uh, you know, when you have to do that. So on that sensitivity slider there, too, there are also uh, you can't see them, but there are little notches to the adjustment. Um, it feels like there are little presets. So uh, one thing that I was looking at here where I, I, uh, I brought up the slider real quick here is it, it doesn't, I don't think it looks like it's persistent. And that's something that I'm going to have to uh, report to him in the feedback. Once I get my setting dialed in, I don't want to do it every game. Um, you know how it is, uh, especially in, uh, you know, uh, top tier matches, you don't have time to bring up that menu, uh, you know, every game and dial in your sensitivity. And then maybe you miss the preset or you slide it too far. You know, you, you can't afford that even five or 10 seconds. You got to be, you know, you got to be moving out there, you know, and getting after it. So that's something that I'm definitely going to report back to them. Uh, it needs to be persistent in between matches, uh, just like the settings on your account. You know, you don't want the music on, you turn it off and it's like that until you turn it back on. That's how it needs to be. Um, the reason I used the uh, TriMagda parts here is I run those a lot uh, in silver playing with some of my buddies. Um, it's, it's a really good like baseline to get an idea of how precise and sensitive this thing is. I think this is either the sensitivity on this is either halfway or maybe like a, a notch up from halfway, which seemed to be during my testing what I preferred. Um, so that's it, uh, right there, you know, in a nutshell, that's really what I wanted to focus on. Um, was the you know how is this thing going to work um how sensitive is it uh how far can you dial it down um so i'm actually pretty happy with it thus far i don't know how many more you know tweaks or adjustments they're going to make to it but i'm really liking it the way that it is so if they get that persistent issue down where that is set you know to your account and you don't have to mess with it unless you want to then I think this thing is is 100% ready to ship out the door. Um, so uh, you saw the hydras there too. Again, wasn't really the focus of what I wanted to do with this video, but the hydra looks like you know it it, it could be a force, um, especially with guys who like to run those fujins. You know, you get three medium slots. It could be a force. You know, um, and then uh, the other thing that they were. Uh, the other thing that they had uh, advertised on there that I, I didn't really talk about during the video, but I kind of noticed was uh, overall gameplay improvement or performance improvements. Um, you know, sometimes we kind of, it, it seems like maybe we're just imagining, you know, things that were like, you know, oh, my bot feels slower. You know, you'll see guys say that every once in a while, you know, in your clans and whatnot. Um, but honestly, uh, the, the game and the bot did feel, uh, more nimble to me. It, uh, it felt a little bit more, uh, precise, um, almost like, uh, there was like less, uh, less delay or lag, uh, between like say input and response. So hopefully I'm not just imagining it. And that is actually something that they are tweaking because I have noticed sometimes with some bots that they're, you know, they're a little, uh, a little cumbersome, you know, it, I kind of feel like, okay, like, you know, I inputted, you know, uh, say like, you know, a direction, uh, change of direction or, or what have you. And there's, there's a little bit of a delay. So maybe, uh, maybe that's what I was, you know, kind of sensing there. Um, you know, I hate to, to go too far into it and have it just be my imagination, but they did advertise overall gameplay improvements. So hopefully that's one of them because the, uh, the Gepard definitely felt a little more responsive. That's probably the bot that I know the best and I know how it feels and plays. Um, it, but it definitely felt slightly more responsive, which, which is definitely a, a good sign. 
overall, they're they're kind of headed in the right direction. There's a lot of things they're doing that I'm liking. Um, the user adjustable sensitivity is huge. I think the uh, recent uh, addition of selling weapons and robots back is huge, although you know, not totally crazy about the implementation. Um, and I think they're aware of it. You know, there are a lot of issues with that, especially with the, uh, you know, having to have a weapon equipped on every robot that you have when they should know that a lot of us have, you know, 10, 12, 15 different robots. So you essentially have to have placeholder weapons on each robot before you're allowed to sell anything. Not the best system. So hopefully they'll address that, uh, you know, in the near future here. But, you know, at the end of the day, you can clean out some of your old junk, you know, stuff that you were never going to use. Um, so, you know, that's, that's again, another positive step forward. Um, and I hope they continue to keep making them because some things they're doing, you know, again, uh, if you've noticed with Matchmaker lately, there are a lot of uh, tweaks, it feels like, being made to Matchmaker. And a lot of my buddies running the silver tier or whatever you want to call it, non-maxed robots kind of in the middle, you know, um, level four, five, six, level, say, I don't know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten weapons type thing, kind of in the middle, kind of somewhere in between like when you start out and when you, you know, max out. So, you know, I play a lot with those guys because they don't have maxed hangers yet. And there definitely seems to be uh, almost like a, like a, a, a just a, potpourri of what you get matched up against um did i really just say potpourri i guess i did um it, it's really kind of like every time i launch uh in in you know what we refer to as silver it, it's you you kind of just like kind of like uh you know pucker up and cross your fingers because you don't know what you're gonna get and half the time it seems lately you're getting you're getting near maxed robots you know you're getting near maxed weapons and uh you know i'm always up for a good challenge but it feels like they have been tweaking things behind the scenes i emailed them recently i really just wish that they would tell us how matchmaker works or as close as they can get to it and tell us what it's doing you know and why it does it to give us their paying customers kind of a better idea of of what we're in store for uh but they flat told me no um, I actually told them in the email, you know, don't bother to respond to this. I just want you to hear an opinion of, you know, a loyal customer, a fan, a supporter. Uh, you know, I do a, a YouTube channel focused solely around their game. I just kind of wanted them to hear my two cents on it. Um, but, you know, unfortunately, it was the boilerplate response of, you know, we, we, you know, we can't share that information. It's proprietary, so on and so forth, which, again, I've, I've said in past videos, I totally get. But uh, I tell you what, a lot of people, uh, you know, you may be seeing this too in your clans and groups that you play with, but a lot of people, they're not real happy with it because it's confusing. Um, so we're going to get into that more in, a, in another video. I know I keep promising that. Uh, I've got a couple actually planned coming up, but Matchmaker is definitely going to be one of them. And you're going to see some more opinion videos from me. I'm going to talk about uh, seal clubbing. I'm going to talk about matchmaker, a couple other kind of like the social issues, uh, you know, if you will, uh, re uh, regard uh, regarding the game. So that's all coming up in the future. I uh, really appreciate you guys liking, subscribing, and I will see you next time at the Center Beacon.